Hi, this is David P.K. from Datamensional. Thank you for visiting our website and thank you for joining us in this Pentaho Analyzer demonstration. What you see in front of you is the landing page for Pentaho Business Analytics Suite. Once you log into Pentaho, you'll have these options. You can click on New Report, New Analysis, New Dashboard, etc. For this demonstration, we're going to click on New Analysis. Next, we have to select the data that we want to work with. I'm going to use NFL team data. Perfect. What we have now is an empty canvas inside Pentaho Analyzer in which we're going to build a report from. First things first, all the data that we're using in today's demonstration came from the National Football League's website, the NFL.com. I want to show all the viewers what our report's going to look like when it's finished. That way you can understand what we're trying to achieve by building the report. Here you can see a view that has season years 2002 through 2011. It's got one division of the NFL, the NFC East. It's got four teams, the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Giants, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Washington Redskins. And we have the offensive yards per game average for each team. Now let's change the view of this report so we can visualize the data differently. Up here in the top right hand corner you'll find a drop down for different charts and graphs. You can select any one of these. It's very easy and it's very quick to change the view of the data. Let's start off with a line graph. Let's move on to another one. How about a stacked bar? Maybe we want a pie chart. Last but not least, let's see an area. Okay, back to the original view. Okay, now let's build this report from scratch. We're going to go back to this tab, which gives us a blank canvas to work with. And now, I want to give the viewers a chance to get to know the Pentaho Analyzer tool a little bit better. You can look to the right, and you can see a list of bullets. You can see yellow bullets here, and you also have blue bullets here. The yellow ones continue near the bottom as well. We have a lot of data here. Okay. The yellow bullets indicate dimensions. You use the dimensions to slice and dice the numbers that you're trying to measure and analyze. And then the blue bullets are what Pintaho calls measures, which can also be referred to numbers. Okay. As we start to build our report, we have to decide exactly what we want to know, what we want to see. So I know I want to see teams, right? Bam. There are all of the teams in the NFL, the abbreviations for all of them. What else is important to me? I want to know what conference all those teams are in. So I'm going to scroll back up here to the top. I'm going to drag League Conference into the mix. Okay. Now I have the AFC and the NFC here. Um, I'd also like to know the division that the teams are in. I'm going to put that there. You can see as I drag things over to the report how easily it inserts them and starts to slice and dice the data the way that I want to see it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get some numbers into the report. So I'm going to scroll up and down here on my list of choices all of the blue bullets are numbers. As you can see, I have a lot of defensive statistics as well as a lot of offensive statistics. Now, knowing the National Football League, I know that they measure how well a team does on offense according to total yards produced. So I am going to come down here to offense yard per game, and I'm going to select the average as my basis in which I'm going to measure everything by dragged it onto the report, boom. Next I want to add a column header. Now there are more than one way to do this. 
So I'm going to show you both, and then I'm going to show you which way I prefer. One way is to slide the column header in here, okay? But I want to show you the way that I prefer to do it, which is to come up here, and you have to allow the layout pane to be seen rather than to be hidden. So you have to click here, okay? Now I can drag season year into the column header, like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide the layout pane again. I don't really need it at the moment, and it's kind of in my way, so I'm going to go ahead and click here. Bam, cleans up my report nicely. As you can see now, we have all of the NFL teams, all the divisions, and all the conferences, along with offensive yards per game average from 1999 through 2011. Okay. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I was going to give you the last 10 years worth of stats for that, which means we have to omit 1999 through 2001. That being said, I'm going to now show you how to apply a filter to this report, but before I do that, I am going to give the St. Louis Rams a shout out. From 1999 to 2001, they were the most offensively explosive team in the NFL, as you can see by these figures down here. 401 yards average per game, 442 and 418. And the reason I tell you that is because my boss is a huge Rams fan, and he would probably kill me if I did not include that in this demonstration at some point in time. Now that that's been said, and Kurt Warner is now retired, I'm going to apply the filter. So here I will open up the filter area. I'm going to drag season year into the filter area. And I am going to select the years that I want in my report. Okay. You start here by clicking 2002. You want to hold down the shift button on your keyboard. And you select all of the years that you want to have. Okay, I click this arrow button, and I click OK. Now you can see on my report, 2002 through 2011. Let's continue on with the filtering process to make sure this report is consistent with the one I created before. Um, we want to filter out league conference at this point because I was only interested in the NFC. NFC, over to the right, OK. Next, I want just the East Division of the NFC. So East. And that gives me the four teams that I had originally. That gives me the years that I had originally. So now the information on the report is identical to the original report that we created. However, if you notice, the layout is different. I'm going to click on the report that we're trying to create. You can see here the years are on the left, and the conference division and the team initials are on the top. So we want to switch this one, and I did that on purpose so I can show you how easily that is done. If we open up the hidden window pane again, we can just switch these things and it might trigger like a small issue but then eventually we'll be able to switch it over the way that we want it okay like this will probably tell me the division has to come with it yep see so we'll say okay that's fine we're cool with that and then we also want to drag the team initial over bam now we have the same report as created previously all we have to do is open up the layout pane, like so. Okay. Now, just so you know, when we move some of these things around, it might say that some of them are, you know, dependent upon the other ones and stuff like that, which really isn't that big of a deal as long as you think the logic through. So we're going to go ahead and move season year to a row. Okay. Now, when I try to move this league conference, it'll probably tell me that the division has to come too. So let's move that down here. Yep, 
there it is it's telling me that it has to come with it so we click OK and then we also want to move the team initials like so okay now I'm going to hide the layout pane again and now that should be the same report that we created before so let's click on the other tab and there it is the NFC East offense comparison over the last 10 years to be sure let's click on the other tab and there it is an identical report there's one there's the other and just to be certain let's look at some of the visualization pieces align yep that's the chart that we had before a bar a pie area and back to the report the users of these tools can apply them in pretty much any business scenario for example, you could compare sales representatives and sales territories with sales data. You could compare different product lines within your company to find out which were the most profitable. You could also compare different divisions within your company using their particular key performance indicator to give you insight into what's actually going on inside your business. For a free consultation, you can reach us at info at datamensional.com or you can call us toll free at one 888 966 data. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to hear from you very soon.